The Trump administration launches a new government office to protect the religious rights of medical professionals. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi was there at Health and Human Services headquarters for the big announcement. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Lauren. The new Conscience and Religious Freedom Division will investigate complaints by doctors and nurses pressured to violate their beliefs. Now, that includes healthcare workers objecting to abortion or transgender surgery. Today, I spoke one on one with the HHS official rolling out this new division. Things are changing for the better. Uh, the federal government has not always been as protective of religious freedom as it is required to be, and that is changing today, here, and now. Good morning. My name is Roger. Roger Severino is the director of the Office for Civil Rights at the Department of Health and Human Services. The veteran attorney will oversee the Division for Conscience and Religious Freedom. Americans United for the Separation of Church and State slams the administration. The group says the move will sanction using religion to deny patients access to health care. But Severino disagrees, telling me the government will be enforcing current U.S. laws, like the Weldon Amendment, which protects health care workers who object to doing abortions. There has been pent-up demand, and that demand is out there. People's conscience rights uh, have been violated. People are bringing the complaints forward. In fact, Severino says his Office for Civil Rights has seen a spike in conscience complaints. From 2008 through November 2016, HHS received 10. Since President Trump's election, it's fielded 34 complaints. The new division will help workers like Catholic nurse Kathy DiCarlo. I still have nightmares about that day. That day when she was forced to help with an abortion. My faith in God and the Catholic Church's teachings about the sanctity of all human life further inspired my career in nursing. Democrats say this office could undermine the rights of women, gays, and transgender people. Senator Patty Murray of Washington State says this lets ideology dictate who can get care. But House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy says the division is needed to prevent the rise of religious persecution. Lauren? We see things like this in new administrations come and go. How easy will it be for the next, maybe Democratic, administration to shut down this division? Roger Severino tells me it would be very hard. Today's actions make the Conscience and Religious Freedom Division a part of the Department of Health and Human Services. He describes religious freedom as a fundamental civil right that future administrations should want to protect. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi, thank you for that report.